what is going on guys hit pause here with a tutorial that has been requested a couple of times it is the uh, workflow inside of world machine here so I'm gonna just I don't want this to take too many years because it could take a long time because there's a million things you can do in here it's kinda like saying hey here's a hammer oh teach me what to make with this you know like uh, do anything so in this case I'm just gonna show you how to use a couple of these tools and how do you get the main most important ones and the most important stuff that you need to know okay that's my goal uh, not to uh, try to create something crazy or amazing or go find a Google piece of geometry or anything like that or, you know uh, terrain and try to match that or anything like that we're just gonna make something up and I'll show you the tools and that that should be good hopefully you guys agree uh, so I'm gonna keep this as kind of the intro um, so I'm just going to go through in this video, I'm going to go through the main interface and show you guys a couple caveats and a couple little tips and tricks and things here and there. So number one, if I want to delete something and I just hit delete, it's going to bling in my ear. Okay, I happen to have my um, volume up kind of loud, so that hurt. Uh, but if, let's see, can we undo that? Oh, you cannot undo after that. Keep that in mind. Okay. So these are just basically like the comment boxes in UE4, if you're uh, familiar with UE4. If not, don't worry about it. Uh, you can click them and delete them. I tend to do that. Okay, customize to your liking. Okay, so let's talk about the main generator. Right now you'll notice that we have nothing here. It's just black. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the layout generator. Okay, so you click here, then you click where you want, and then you right click to get it off. You don't drag this out or click and then, you know, it, like I said, you got to right click to get off of the thing. So if we take a look at the layout generator, we double click it, you'll notice if we back off that we were kind of not like zoomed in on it, it was like over here. So just scroll out with the wheel mouse and then right mouse to move this around. Um, so that's pretty much the only controls you have here, right mouse and middle mouse or uh, wheel mouse. Okay, but this is your terrain area. Now this terrain does extend past this, in fact it extends past that infinitely. Uh, it goes literally forever. So you can export out of here or build a world as large as you'd like. Um, how to do that and get all the tiles out and stuff like that is, I think all the answers to that are in here. Um, this is the setup for your project. Now, this isn't something that I ever touch until the end when I'm going to build it and I'm ready and I like it. Because when you increase your resolution here, uh, you end up with... Um, really really high build times especially if you have a complex terrain so keep this low while you work and kinda use this preview window but the tiled build options are here and I don't exactly know um, tiles per side I suppose this is where you can set uh, how many of these tiles you're gonna um, actually export and you can make you can bring out like a really giant world made up of multiple terrains right so that that would be where you do that and it's already here so you just look for this scale thing that's kinda of saying hey how high is my mountains because you can also actually tell it's um, the height here you can lower the height but for the most part if you keep it default you should be okay you should get a one-for-one one match um, back in here in the device view this is our main layout okay now if I right click here and I move it around you'll notice that I can move everything around but if I right click tap you know just right click I end up out here uh, now if I right click here I'm stuck out here so just keep that in mind it's kind of frustrating if I right click on this it gives me options if I right click on this it gives, gives me options but if I miss that and right click here it drops me to another window so if you find yourself getting like, like what the hell why did I just drop to this window you probably right clicked okay just keep that in mind um, so we have a bunch of tools uh, we also have a 3D view here uh, which is right here and you'll notice right now that it's totally flat and the reason that it's flat is because this is a node based system okay and things aren't entirely hooked up right now you'll notice that the height output is not even actually hooked up to the layout generator and also the layout generator doesn't have anything on it so even if I do hook this up like so you'll notice that there's no change but if I double click this guy come in here and now this is where I can draw here so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna draw a line alright so all you gotta do is just go and draw the line okay now I'm still in draw line mode and you can tell that because I have a plus sign but if I want to edit this line and say I click on it it's gonna start making a new line right so let's undo that can I undo that 
I didn't mean to build, edit, undo changes. Okay. Well, anyways, it's not letting me undo for some reason, but if I right click, I'll get this plus sign, this cross. And I, now I can click things and I can actually move them around, okay, the whole thing, or I can get right on a point and I can move the point around. Okay. I can scale these tangents, all right, or I can leave them alone. If I want to, I can click just a single point here. Um, I thought I could delete this single point. Hang on, let's figure out how to delete a single point. Okay. So, okay. Well, we can just right click it and say delete vertex. I believe we can also right click and say add vertex. Edit shape properties, delete shape, bring the front, send the back. Okay, so if we right click. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's a way to add a vert. So in this case, I have three, which is actually, for the most part, a lot of times, more than enough. But anyways, you can see now that I can adjust this line, can change the tangents and things like that. You know, if you know anything about Illustrator or splines, you're good to go. Um, now in this case, you'll notice that what it's creating is this really gigantic piece here. That's because the options on this guy, if I double click it, are here. So we have things like the fall off distance, which is going to tighten it in. Okay, so you can see now it's a very tall ridge. Let's say we don't like the height. We got a default height here, just max, max to the top of the world. So we can bring that down. Okay, so we can say, hey, you know, we just got this little sliver. This can be like a very low mountain range off in the distance or something. You can be kind of whatever you want. Um, another thing here, so right click moves this around, left click moves the light around. Okay, um, it's not really all that useful. But so we can now look at this in the 3D view as well. All right, now the 3D view here is actually, um, I accidentally hit build um, when I went up here. But normally when you change this, it looks all messed up. Um, and I think this might be the low res version too because it's also s super uh, simple here at this point. But let's say we take this guy and we move it here and let's just, I'll show you guys one more thing here. There's a thing called shape participation breakup and you'll notice that it's not actually doing anything right now. The reason for that is because over here we're not using breakup. So we're going to click that and say use the breakup and you can see that this is now wavy. Now if I bring this down I can lower that amount all the way to zero so it's not being affected or I can go really crazy with it and just say hey shape break up just break up this shape you know I just threw a shape out you break it up right but this does take things a little bit out of your control I don't have any control necessarily over the fact that this curved out way right here I can't say hey I kinda wanted to curve this way it's not gonna do that for you um, you gotta just kinda mm -hmm use this sparingly. Now there's more options to it because basically this is just being warped by a noise map. So if you edit right here you can see that these are the actual breakup properties. Okay, There's nothing here except for how much to for each particular shape. So let's just say hey you know we want the roughness really high. You'll notice no change but if I close the window then we get a change. See how it became rough? Okay, If I scroll in you can see it roughened it up. You can see some noise in there. Okay. Uh, and then the, the last thing, the most important one, is actually the breakup scale. But keep in mind that this scale and breakup are universal across all shapes in this particular layout generator. There's no multiple um, settings per shape except for how much it participates in it. Okay, So if you want like a nice, really crazy, wavy breakup uh, on one piece, but then you wanted this noisy one on the other, you would have to make these separate layout generators and combine them. So that's the next thing I'm going to show you guys how to do. That's use combiners. Okay. Uh, so we're going to go back to the layout view here. And what we're going to do is we're going to create two layout generators. So I'm going to basically make another one. It's going to right click. I'm going to come here. And on this one, I'm just going to add a circle down here. Okay. Immediately right click, double click here to get to my options. Now the fall off is actually represented by this dotted line here. You can actually pull that in and out and get this to be exactly where you want it to go. You actually also have um, fall off profile curves which are basically defining the shape of the outer curve right here. So if I say like this you can see it rounded the top and the bottom. Okay, um, You can see here it just rounded the top, sharp at the bottom. Same thing here, it just rounded the bottom and it's sharp at the top or completely linear. Right? So we 
you got options and you can actually uh, create your own if you want to so I can say hey you know I just kinda want it like this I want a ridge on it alright you hit accept and you see now I got a ridge on there you see that okay so anything you want to do there um, and the uh, sphere the circle here uh, remains a circle there's no converting it to like a shape or something like that where you can get points out of it you this is you you have length here um, I don't know about rotate oh yeah you can grab this and rotate it so you can do this kind of stuff okay drag it out make it this makes it uniformly larger this stretches it into an oval or not okay in either direction so you can use this to say hey you know I want like a nice mountain range going along this whole side right but I think it's way too huge so let's go bring this down and like that and then we'll make it fall off a little bit less and let's take the whole entire height down okay so it's like a pill right there I mean I don't, I don't like this you know but let's just say I did uh, no did I hit randomize I thought oh yeah okay now I want to do this okay so now I have this one and I have this one okay so a single click you can see everything changes here um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a combiner here and there's a uh, chooser but in this case we're going to use a combiner so we're going to right click here and we're just going to plug them both in now to plug in it's a left click okay now I'm not holding anything and then another left click okay it's not a drag and now if we click here you can see that the two are actually in the same scene now let's double click here and see what we're looking at it says average so average basically is kind of flip flopping between the two you see that let's say we want to do add that'll give us both of them okay once I put the strength all the way up you can see that I've added now notice that the second one the first the the curved line here is always here no matter what and it's adding the other layout generator okay that's be simply because of the order that these are plugged in so if you flip-flop this you'll notice that the big bulge is there and when I add the line comes in okay like so so that's how we can combine them and there's a few of them here min max detail root subtract okay so you can see quite clearly up in that corner that I'm subtracting this piece up here if you look there see there it goes it's subtracting it so subtract and add are pretty pretty standard uh, multiply any of these are actually kind of standard I don't think I've ever figured out how to properly use all of them like power min max and root and detail uh, but everything up here I seem to be able to use quite well okay so that's how you can combine stuff let's take a look now at masking okay that's gonna be the next important thing that you need to know how to do so another type of generator is a simple noise generator okay so we're just gonna drop that guy out and you'll see we end up with this noisy stuff over here oh just a note over here you cannot um, scale this window okay and at least in the version I'm using you can't do that so we click on the Perlin noise and if we double click we get some options okay we can make it really really noisy by scaling it way down or we can make it really sparse you know now th the cool thing about this is that what this is gonna do is this is a parametric dynamic type effect um, it doesn't matter where it is so what I can do is if I take a look at the, um, the actual layout view notice that that noise has persisted way you can see my white box here um, look how much the noise is persisted throughout it's infinite it literally goes forever I could scroll this for an eternity and it will never stop showing me new bits of this noise terrain okay so if you really want to do the you know large world stuff where you have multiple 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 terrains I would imagine that your base for your one of your fundamental layers would be something like this and then you go out and add generators out there to create specific spots right for different things um, but just showing you guys that that there's where we can make noise and noise is a tiling thing it goes on forever so what we're gonna do is we wanna only have the noise be in the middle in like let's say 
uh, star shape. Let's uh, right. I just want to show that you can make any shape you want. So we're gonna make another generator. Okay. I just left click right here. This all this stuff goes gray sometimes. Like if you click on here, if you've gone into it and then come back out or something weird sometimes. Uh, I don't know when or why that happens, but anyways, we're gonna get another generator here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a star really quick. Okay. So we'll use the polygon tool. I'm gonna make it's not gonna be a great star or nothing. I always forget how to line these shits up by eyeball. I always miss one direction or the other. Okay, so once I right click, I can now click this and get access to the different points, right? Now there is no like that I know of global scale to this thing. There's no scale tool that I know of. Um, so when you're doing something like this you kinda need to make it the size that you want it by dragging the points. So if I want to make the star smaller I literally have to grab it and make it smaller. Which is kinda poo. Okay, There's no real transform tools in here that I know of. But we do know if I double click this that I don't want this um, fall off to be all that crazy. I want this to be pretty sharp. Something like that. Okay. No breakup, nothing like that. In fact, we'll turn the breakup all the way off. Alright, so there's a star and actually we want the default height to be um, all the way up because we're using this as a mask, not so much as a shape here. So now when we go back here, if we plug this into this down here. It's the mask input for everything. You can see we got one down here too. It's this little purple one. And I click here, you can see that there's my noise, but it's isolated completely to that star. Okay? Conversely, if I really wanted to, I could say uh, under filters, an inverter right here. And I could pipe it through the inverter first. And now I've just cut the star out. Okay, so there's masks. Alright, now the other thing that we can do is if I want to play with this layout, but I want to see it in this view here, I can click this and I can either right click and say lock preview on device or I can just hit F. Okay, so now even if I click on these other things, if I come over here and say, hey, this layout generator, if I make a change here, I'm not going to see anything because my preview is locked on that star piece. Okay, it's locked right here. So the cool thing about that though is that now I can actually adjust this star and I actually see that change in real time. I can see it up here too. Okay, so it's no longer a star anymore, right? Let's put it back to a star. A really weird looking one. Like that. Okay, let's just say we like that. But that's how we can mask that out. Okay. And then, if I wanted to, I could combine these again because there's no limit to how many of these combiner things you can have. Okay, now let's click on here and hit F and we'll lock the preview there. And now you can see that it's averaging between these two. You see that? And at 50%, we kind of see in both a little bit, you know? But maybe we want to add. Okay. Now you'll notice that with, when we do add, we're actually getting those details are still there. It's kind of subtle. Uh, 3D view. It's kind of subtle, but you can see that it's there, that ridge, okay, because it's adding to the stuff. So there's that. Um, i got to stop doing that. And then now we're just going to lock the preview here. Uh, actually, and then we hook this up and there is everything all combined together so that's combiners and masks um, and the different uh, a few of the different generators the next thing on the list would be the tools like erosion filters and stuff like that but we'll do that in the next video because that's kind of a subject all of its own uh, this is hip hop sign off i'll see you guys in the next one